hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important use case how to call a custom api from power automate here is a custom api i have created in the custom api i am calling the uh, so let us use the custom api let me go to the custom api and show you how i have created the api and uh, you can understand the custom api in details so let me scroll down my solution and go to custom api and this is my custom API that I have created in Dataverse, whose name is adjust rent. In this custom API, I have created a request parameter and a response parameter. When this custom API will be called from external party, whether it is Power Automate or external party, they will send a request parameter with a uh, with a discount amount. Then it will process the discount amount through a custom action plugin and it will process it now this is my custom api and where i am running a plugin against this custom api and in custom api request parameter you will see a parameter available here i am expo i have exposed here agreement id and there is a request uh, response property i am returning now this custom api i want to call from power automate so i have navigated to power automate and I want to call that custom API on demand so I have taken instant cloud flow and uh, to call the custom API in Dataverse you have to use HTTP connector in HTTP connector you have to pass the organization the organization uh, the web API URL because every power apps uh, environment or Dataverse is having a uh, Dataverse API web API endpoint now if you go to developer resource you will see this web API endpoint so using this web API endpoint you can call any service so like that we are calling custom api service so use this api use this api link and after that use your uh, schema name of your uh, custom api then use post method because i have created a custom api uh, which is not a function uh, to do some action and here i am passing the request parameter in the body uh, future customer agreement id equal to something some sample data the most important thing is the authentication okay when you call any service in a dataverse environment you need to use active directory authentication and in active directory authentication you need to pass the authority authority is login.microsoftonline.com and this is the tenant id that is copied from my azure so this is my azure application user where i have copied this tenant id so tenant id is available in your uh, uh, application registration in the azure portal and here i am using this uh, in the tenant and in audience i am using the organization url you can get the organization url from admin center this is this is power platform admin center where you can copy the organization or environment url next in power automate you have to use the client id and client secret so using this client id and client secret and credential type secret you can call custom action from dataverse so if you save it and test it automatically the custom action decided in the url hosted in your environment will be called so let me use manually the most important thing is correct url need to be formed for custom action and correct credential need to be passed if you do not use correct credential and correct url it will not return data now the power automate will call the custom api and it will return some data so this http call is success and it is returning the data this body information has been passed in the request body and this is the response that is received okay so this is the re response parameter that is received or returned from the custom api this is the name future adjustment amount and here is i am getting that future adjustment rent amount the point here is create your custom api in dataverse register your plugin against your custom api call as i have registered for your business use case then create a power automate and use http connector to call your uh, custom action using the web api url appending the custom x custom action sorry custom api name and pass proper credential active directory credential but before that you should have done the application registration in power in the uh, portal azure portal so that you can get all these informations okay 
So thank you everyone watching this video. See you next time. Bye.